going to continue from where we left off last time. So let's start from the beginning. So here's my two libraries here. And this is the struct. I have inside this four variables and two functions. And this is the name of my struct called the box. So the box has a height, a width, a length, and a label. It also has two functions, volume and surface area. And these functions are really simple. It's just going to return height times width times length. And this one here, let me uh, make this just uh, spread out so you can see it. And this will just return the surface area of a box if you can imagine a closed box. Okay. And this main function here, I don't have anything. So let me go ahead and make a box. And I'm going to call the box capital A. Alright, unfortunately, I, I, I have declared a box called A. Now, the, there, inside that, I have automatically declared four variables that are unassigned. We cannot assign uh, default values to these variables here. Notice that the compiler will complain and you'll see a little red squiggly underneath the assignment operator. So doing this the long way, we would have to assign every one of these some kind of value if we wanted to give it a value, which can be really annoying. So, and I'd have to do with the all four variables, or if I had a thousand variables, if I had several, several variables for a struct, which is possible, and likely, it would be really painful to assign all these values. Especially if I had a array of 200 boxes, or 233 boxes. You know, you could use a for loop to assign all these values. But you would have to assign every single one from 0 to 232, which could also be really annoying. So what we're going to learn today is assigning some values here using the... Uh, a something called the default constructor. Now before I start getting into that, let's just go back to a, if I make a variable, INTI. When, uh, anytime you make any kind of variable, there is always a function, it's an invisible co function called the constructor. And uh, the constructor is responsible mainly for giving it an initial value here. So if I output this, there's no such thing as a variable not having a value. Notice that the uh, compiler is not going to like this. I'm just going to hit continue and program it anyway. It's negative 85,000. No, wait. It's a very large like, negative number. It's more than 85,000. 858 million. And it's a very large negative number. That's the default value of these int types. Well, in our function here, let's say it's capital A. If I were to output this value, we would get a similar issue. There is some kind of default value, and we don't know what it's going to be. But, so we're going to learn something new called the default constructor. Any default constructor is going to begin like this. Okay, so I'm going to go down a few lines here. Now what, what you do to start this default constructor, you type exactly the name of your struct. Box. Okay. And give it an open parenthesis and a closing parenthesis. 
Now, as I said, this is a function, but it has a, it doesn't have a type. This function does not have a type. It does not even have the type void. You just leave, you don't even give it the type void. You just leave it as box. So, but it's a function, and it's going to have the same setup as a function. Next, in this function here, I'm just going to use an example. So, 357. Okay, what does this do? This default constructor is going to set 3, 5, and 7 to every single value that I make. So now the default values will be 3, 5, and 7 for height, width, and depth. Height, width, and length. And I can even use label. And that's just what it does, it just sets default values to certain things. And I would probably use just a zero for these. Huh. Oh, my number locks are not, that's the issue. Yeah, but you, you can do whatever you want. That's just how you set default values. That's the point of this video here is to show you how to set some values here. So when I output the height, this should give me a zero, and it will. So we have a little bit of control of what the default values are. Now let's look at something else. Let's say I made box A, B, and C. Well, what if I want C to have something a little bit different? Well, we can always just change the values of C. It's just default values that we can change. And uh, just the uh, just to let you know, they, the uh, this constructor is mainly responsible for default values. Okay, uh, let me do, uh, let me see where I'm at on time. Alright, I'm going to wrap this up, and we'll talk about a little bit more on the default constructor in the next video, but that's just the start. And then, uh, we'll just keep on moving on. I don't think I can tell you anything else except those are, those are just going to set the default values to those variables. Just pay care, extra careful with the syntax. This is a function, but it's special. It has no type. And the name of the function has to, it has to be the same exact name as your struct. So that's all, and I'm going to wrap this up.